Similarly, you might get an illusion of creating a habit. Same to same. It's similar thing, right? Just as soon as you eat junk food for that particular time. Hello, everybody. How are you all? Hope you're doing great. So welcome back to another session of learning English with me. And today, in today's lesson, I'm going to address whether habits can make you fluent in English. Now, habits are very important in life. Habits are important to learn any skill in life. Can habits make you fluent in English? Can they? What is the possibility? How much you should invest in creating habits in learning English? I'm going to discuss everything with you today in this lesson. So stay tuned and watch this lesson till the end. I'm Shivangi Gupta, your CELTA certified English language tutor. Certified by the University of Cambridge, the UK before beginning. Please subscribe the channel so that you do not miss out on any lesson that I post for you. Also like the video and share it with your friends too. Now coming back to today's lesson, that's the habits. Can habits make you fluent in English? Can they? Do they have the potential to make you fluent in English? Well, the answer is yes and no both. Yes, they have a great potential for you to become fluent in English. And the other answer is no. Now, why no? What is the condition where they cannot actually help you much in becoming fluent in English? I'm going to explore both the conditions and both the answers. So let's begin with the part one. Why habits are so much important for you? What do they exactly do? How you need to use those habits in order to become fluent in English? The part where I say, yes, they are powerful tool to become fluent in English language. Now, the reason number one, why habits are so important. How habits act as a powerful tool for you to learn English and improve in your fluency. Number one is they allow you to push yourself. You're able to push yourself to do something more than what you are doing. So when you create habits, when you develop good habits, you're able to push yourself. That is, you're doing something that is a bit more challenging for yourself, right? For you to do. And that is important. When you create habit of English, habit of learning English, how you're pushing yourself, you might not have much time in a day. Still, because it's your habit, you will do it. You will do the task, whether it's Maybe, for example, you were supposed to read three pages that particular day. You are busy. You have no time to read. Still, you will manage somehow, some time to read that. You will not neglect it. You will not overlook it. You will read those three pages at any cost because it's your habit. You are serious about it. And hence, you're pushing yourself. You're not letting it go. You're not letting that opportunity to learn English in that particular day, you're not letting it go. One more thing is that when you're presented with the opportunity to learn something difficult, more than your level, a bit challenging, you are always up for it because now it's your habit to learn English. You're habitual of learning English. When it's your habit, you will not neglect something saying, oh, it's so difficult. I'm not going to do this. Maybe I'll take this particular topic up after a week, after two weeks. You will not say that. You'll say, okay, let's try it now. Let's try it today. Because it's your habit. You have to do it every day. You're supposed to do it on a regular interval of time. Because you are doing it on a regular interval of time. That's why it's not a problem for you. You can do it. You are pushing yourself. You are pushing those boundaries of learning you have created when you create a habit. And that is what is important for improvement. Until and unless you push yourself, you will not see any kind of improvement. The graph will be linear. Like it will be a straight line. If you want the graph to go up, the climbing graph for that, you have to push yourself. And habit allows you to do that. Those habits allow you to do that. Those habits allow you to push yourself and become fluent in English language. Reason number two is habits keep you motivated. Yes, when it's your habit, you are motivated. You are self-motivated. And this motivation leads you to read, to learn, to practice, to speak again and again. It leads you to become fluent in English. It creates that 
ignition inside you that yes i have to do it i want to do it and i will do it you are constantly motivated even if you feel demotivated you may be tired you might not have time you might have an important project coming up you might have an assignment to submit still what you're going to do is you are going to learn english at that particular very time set time you have set a time for yourself you will do it maybe instead of learning five words you might learn just one word okay you might compensate on the time still you're going to do something you will not let that particular day go as a waste or you will not skip that particular day you'll do at least something maybe for 5 minutes maybe for 10 minutes but you are going to do something because you feel motivated that yes it's my habit i have to do it what if today i won't learn what if today i won't practice or i won't read that particular thought will still be nagging and that nagging will lead you to ultimately do that particular task whatever was the learning task for that day you will accomplish it because now it's your habit it's your motivation you're motivated to do it because you want to see yourself as this fluent person a person who speaks english so fluently impeccably you want to see that result and hence you will end up learning english practicing english for that day too so this helps you to stay motivated habits creates a pattern and this pattern helps you stay motivated to learn more to become fluent in english now reason number 3 is consistency now like i said habits help you creates a pattern right so when you take something up and it becomes your habit now you have created a pattern of doing that particular thing maybe reading one day listening to something another day and so on and so on so consistency is equals to fluency staying consistent for a long period of time while learning english will definitely result in a great amount of fluency for you definitely it will and from where do this consistency come from creating habits from creating good habits while learning english you are going to stay consistent which will in turn help you become fluent in english so can you see one single task of creating good habits while learning english is solving lots and lots of problems a lot of you might face while learning english while becoming fluent in english a lot of problems they are getting targeted through this one particular task of making english your habit make english your habit how to make english your habit for that you already have the lesson so go go back check this lesson out make english your habit how you can make english your habit otherwise you have this particular lesson four simple habits in english now four simple habits to become fluent in english i am giving you ready made habits you just have to follow them you do not have to create any habit of yours you do not have to find out a pattern to follow i am giving you a set pattern of habits to follow just watch the video apply it and you will create some good english learning habits to become fluent in english so i suggest go back watch this video i know you people are already giving a lot of love to this particular video so go back and watch it once again if you have already watched it now coming to the part 2 coming to the part 2 of this particular lesson 2 that is no habits cannot make you fluent in english well i actually told you why habits they are a powerful tool to become fluent in english then why am i saying no why did i say no in the starting too there is a condition where the habits won't work that is the habits are insufficient or not adequate not appropriate if you're not taking up appropriate habits appropriate habits targeting your fluency you cannot become fluent in english you might think that you are creating good habits but actually they are not good habits they just give you an illusion of good habits now what are good habits so these good habits must be proportionate they must have appropriate proportions of reading listening speaking writing all the skills the grammar the vocab if you are not having proper proper mixture of these particular tasks in your habits then they are not fruitful they are not useful 
so a lot of times you might think that okay i am getting uh, these i am making these particular habits they might be helpful but they are not so you should create habits which are directly hitting your fluency that's it that's the thing your habits must influence your fluency they must be proportionate they must be correct habits habits which are powerful enough powerful enough to influence your fluency so are you creating good habits or not that's the big question so these good habits are just like the food that we eat so food we eat for ourselves to keep ourselves healthy just like that habits are required to keep your fluency up to date now like food if you take some unbalanced diet if you take junk food you eat unbalanced diet not appropriate in nutrients nutrients are not appropriate in proportion what will happen is you will not get the benefit of that particular food your health will get affected it will not lead you to the good health you are consuming food you will think i am consuming food but still in the long run it's not going to give you any benefit health wise at that particular time your hunger might be satisfied similarly you might get an illusion of creating a habit same to same it's similar thing right just as soon as you eat junk food for that particular time you are satiating your hunger right but what about your health are you becoming healthy no you're not you are eating unbalanced diet you might think you're eating food you are taking up the nutrition the fuel for your body but are you really benefiting yourself your health no similarly when you create these habits which are not up to the mark which are not enough not adequate you create an illusion for yourself that you're following some habits you're creating some habits for yourself oh wow but in the long run they might not improve your fluency as much as the right adequate targeted habits can improve your fluency so the impact is not as powerful as the good habits that you need to create while learning english so create good habits good habits are really important and where to get those good habits do not worry you have a complete playlist dedicated to so many lessons that i have created for you for learning english with good habits so there are lots of lessons related to habits to learn english go check the playlist out watch all the lessons and inculcate all the habits in your learning pattern they are the good habits for you to develop so that's it for today that's the lesson everybody i hope you liked it and this was helpful for you so go create some good habits keep learning english i'll see you with a new lesson till then everybody take care and bye